I introduced myself to Lori Gravities, but for those of you who are just uh, listening in, I'm Avery Underhill. I race with the Pro Water Cross National Tour, and I've been, I was born here in Pensacola, and I've lived here in the Perdido Key area all of my life. I've played here on the water for longer than I can remember that this has kind of been our life. This is our lifestyle here on the water. So we've traveled all across the nation, and we've gone to all different types of bodies of water from lakes out here on the coast. Uh, to rivers, we've raced on every body of water there was, and that's me and my brother there, that was us in racing Wisconsin, racing the Great Lakes. This is my brother, he just graduated, or sorry, he just moved out, graduated high school and is studying marine biology in Tallahassee. So, notice real quick that he's standing in third place, but whenever I get up there, I always get first place. <laughs> so, something just to, to note there. So, at any given point in our lives, there is a ski or parts of a ski in our house, in our den downstairs. We don't, only, we don't only know how these things work when we ride them, but we know how they work inside and out. We understand everything from the intake on the bottom of the skis to the engines that are inside them and the exhaust that comes out the rear end. This here is my dad's 951. Uh, just, it's sitting here on our ping pong table because we, we think these skis are more interesting than a game of ping pong or a game of pool. And we work on these things every chance that we get free time, we're together working on these skis. Racing with my brother, with my family, going all across the nation, it, it, it teaches a lot of things. It teaches teamwork. It teaches how to work together with your family, which are some of the hardest people to get along with sometimes. <laughs> you, you learn to... I mean, some of these skis are really heavy. Not one person can move them on the, even with the trailers we have. It takes a team to get the car to the trailer, get, get it up all the way up to the other side of the country, and then back down in time to be here for whatever may be that Monday. But the most important lesson that I've pulled from racing is what it's like to be on the water, and it helps me further my knowledge of water safety and the, the, the uh, water life there. The, not only just the fish and the, 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 the dolphins people love to come and look at, but also the underwater grasses that are there. How what we ride affects them. I mean, we have grass beds behind our house that have been there for since we moved in. They, they're not scarred and they don't have any marks in them. And I've, I've got a video. This is a video of my race ski, which is the, the second biggest ski we have. The, the other one we have is just a slight bit longer. This is my race ski going planing speed over the uh, grass bed we have behind our house. So, I'm gonna... so this is the grass bed that I was mentioning. And that was it. That was full speed over one of these grass beds, 20 inches of water. That's hardly past my knees. Not, the grass barely even flinched as we went over. And I've heard the argument before, well, taking off is where it really is. So we thought about that, and we went out and we tested this ourselves. You can see it's, it's not pushing anything, the motor's not on. There's the takeoff. That's all it was. All that is is a little bit of sand, mostly air, pumped into the water, aerosolized into the water. That's it. The grass beds are not scarred. They're, they're perfectly fine. However, bigger boats, prop boats, or uh, sailboats with the uh, rudders down behind them, that will scar grass beds. That actually goes deep enough to scar those grass beds. If you drove a prop boat through here, it would have pulled up grass. It, it would have completely destroyed wherever it went. PWCs, they just don't do that. I was looking at some of the numbers that we have for this, and I was, I was almost taken aback to see that in, in two, three feet of water that it's scarring, there's, no, there's just no way that's coming from a PWC, especially here. The best sciences are done ones that are tested by other people. And we went and we've done our own tests with our own skis and our own grass beds, and there was absolutely no effect to them. So I think that the best option is alternative B. Do restrict a little bit, but don't come out 300 yards in three feet of water. If this is what it's doing in 20, which is nothing, in three feet of water, the fish at the bottom aren't even going to flinch because of it. There's just no logical reason to take up this much of the waterway. 
we, I hear adults, I hear them talking about the next generation, the younger generation. We want to preserve the nature for that generation. I am that generation. The best thing we can do is keep the waterways open, but educate the masses. Thank you. Yeah.